is popping youtube welcome back to my channel it's your girl no best panna i know y'all looking at me like what's the vibes what's going on today sis i am doing it's kind of like a get ready with me but we're also going to be doing like a story time and today i'm going to be slaying a braided wig pause okay i know i posted i know i've said before i am not a fan of braided wigs anytime people post themselves in a braided wig it's always like what wig and it's really giving that wig we can tell sis but harrington's sent me a unit i'm not gonna lie it was giving what it was supposed to have gave it really was all right guys, so before we get too deep into this video, I do wanna give a shout out to our sponsors, Hair and Teens, for this video. They are a black owned braided wig company based out of Dallas, Texas. And I'm just showing you guys everything that came in the box, the unit, they also sent a bonnet and a mask to match. And this is the unit itself. Guys, you know I'm a braider, so the first thing that I did was check those braids. Baby, the parts were neat. The lace was already customized. It was tinted. I'm not sure if they bleached it or how they got it, but it's pretty much ready to go. They've already parted out baby hairs. And when I tell you guys, these knotless were so neat. I'm like, who did this though? Um, you guys know as a braider, I'm gonna check the braids and I'm just gonna show you guys how neat they are from top to bottom. One of my favorite things about the unit is the fact that they braided it all the way down to the end because if you guys have watched any of my braiding videos, then you guys know that that is a style that I prefer. Um, the unit definitely was not stiff, but you can also re-dip it if you want um, the ends to be super straight because obviously because it came in a bag, it just was a little bit crinkled at the ends, but I absolutely love this wig straight out of the bag ready to go 10 out of 10 recommend as always don't forget to check the description section or the top of the comment section and I'll put all of their contact information so that you guys can purchase your own wig today y'all know I'm a braider the first thing I did was look at the braids I'm said I'm like okay these knotless are giving and I've actually been wanting knotless but I haven't been wanting to do my hair I'm like okay the girls is gonna love this they love this that's the vibe for today on my community tab I asked what story time you guys wanted to hear and y'all messy why y'all so damn messy y'all wanted to hear about how I fought a club bouncer on my birthday I've actually told this uh, story on my channel I'm just gonna tell it again because Y'all know Panda had a pass, y'all. I don't know, it's just the Aries vibes in me, like Panda had a pass. So I have a couple story times that I'm gonna get out over, yeah, some of my next videos in the future. Today for my look, I'm actually gonna go with like a 90s type vibe, you feel me? That's the mood, that's gonna be the look. I'm gonna be doing hair and makeup today, so yeah. If you wanna hear my story and you wanna see my slay, just keep on watching. Big Panda. Tutorials, lives, reviews, yeah, all that. Big panda, not the little one. Hey. What you mean? Big box braids on your top, yeah, add it up. Game finna hit a milli, yeah, add it up. Panna, 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 can you post a bit? I've been really booked and busy, but I got you, sis. Big subs, box braids, and they tug. Dropping gems, tell your friends, yeah, let's run it up. Big, Big likes, drop a comment, or we finna because why wouldn't you like, comment, and subscribe to my videos? Like, that's weird. Okay, so first of all, we gotta get into this hair growth, because baby. <laughs> and I have my hair braided, so really, it's really longer than this. Y'all keep asking what's my hair growth secrets, what I do, nothing. Y'all see my hair in them two puffs? It's like that every single day. I just throw a little leave-in conditioner, reapply my edge control, that's it. Y'all need to stop touching y'all hair, and you won't be bald-headed. No, I was given. I've been growing up my hair out for like two years, so this is really good. So most of y'all know that in college, I went to Hawaii Pacific University. Shout out to HPU, baby. I was pretty much running amok on the island, y'all. I was a mess. I was a party girl, the it girl, yeah, all that. I was always just out every single weekend. I feel like there's really not much else to do. So if you lived in Hawaii, I was there from 2008 to 2014, yeah. It just was ghetto. There is a club called Zanzibar that we will all go to. If you were a college student, you would get in free before 11. And it was literally right across the street from the student housing. I lived in Waikiki, so I was super close to it. Honestly, y'all, the club was not giving. It was not giving. When you live in Hawaii, I feel like your options are kind of limited because at that time, we didn't really have any other nightclubs like rumors or anything like that. It was literally strictly Zanzibar. I repeat Zanzibar because it shut down. Y'all, that was a mess. But yeah, it was the spot. It was the it spot. It was where, you know, people were gonna be. Y'all, so right now for my hair, I'm just doing my set it off braids. <laughs> I need to match the vibe of the story and it's finna get real ghetto. So, not just kidding. These are my wig braids. I'm only doing six because I'm only doing six. 
that's why. So Zanzibar pretty much had two sides to it. There was like a pop Miley Cyrus side, you know, like they would play hip hop over there, but it would be like remixed to like a pop type beat. They had a hip hop side where all the ratchets be. That's where I'm at, you feel me? And they would pay, play like, you know, Bay Area music, hip hop music, whatever. But honestly, Hawaii is so behind. It wasn't gonna be like the newest of the new hip hop. It was like, you know, a little bit of throwback. And they would try to throw some new music in there, but it just wasn't giving y'all, okay? It just wasn't giving. But when you have no options, you feel me? You gonna be there every week. And I was there every week. So this particular time, it was my birthday, y'all. And to be honest, I feel like it was not my 21st birthday. It had to be like my 20th birthday because I remember my 21st birthday vividly. That might have to be another story time because that was actually ghetto and ratchet, y'all. I had two boyfriends show up at the same time. I said, Yeah, Zanzibar, I was there on my birthday. I wanna say it was probably like my 20th birthday, which means I can't drink in the club, which means I'm showing up to the club lit already. Yeah, on the night of March 23rd, I was throwing them drinks back. Patron, bow, 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 for loco, bow. This was back uh, when people were drinking for locos, which to be honest, to this day, I still really don't know what that is. I think it's like a combination of caffeine and alcohol, like, almost like similar to an adios maybe all i know is i weigh 125 pounds at the time <laughs> i was so tiny i'm gonna have to just insert a pic because i know y'all like what yeah panel was small i was lit y'all i was lit by the time that i got to the club of course i got in got there before 11 because i'm like yeah i'm about to get in free on my birthday yeah we finna turn me up and um yeah the club i feel like they was on it about certain stuff but like I could still sneak a drink. Like I could still have a friend who was over 21 buy me a drink and like still take a sip and I get caught. Like I wasn't that dumb, but I'm telling y'all I was lit. I don't really know if, wait, I can't do this right here. So I'm a dancer y'all. I'm in a club throwing it back, uh, back, all right? I don't know if I was single at this time. I might've had like seven boyfriends. I'm trying to recall, but to be honest, I'm just a dancer. Like I'm a dance, right? I'm dancing, sweating. On top of that, I'm already lit and all my friends are showing up now. They 21. I was like the young, I was like the young baby of the group. They buying me shots. I'm already lit, but I'm still going to take a sip or whatever they offering me, whatever they buying. You know, I'm back in the corner, knocking them back. All right. When I tell y'all I'm dancing, I'm not just talking about like pretty girl. I'm talking about a bow, a bow. I'm throwing it back. I'm sweating. That's hella out of line. If you ever at the club sweating, it's time to go home, sis. Like, it's never that serious. So pause on that story real quick. I'm actually going to show you guys the inside of the unit because I don't think I did that. They have a strap here inside. They also have this one here, but I probably won't need it. They also have combs in there which I know some people like to cut out the cones, but I'm just gonna leave them in there. And anytime I do a unit, I always like to just test it out on my head real quick to see what it's hitting for. It looks like they already pretty much um, bleached the knots on the, the unit because it's not like giving light or anything. Is this on straight? Y'all, where's this goddamn middle part? <laughs> Hold on, let me put this on correctly. There she goes. Y'all, this wig is braided so neat. That's crazy. So right now it's fitting pretty tight, which I like. I like that. Ooh, this thing tight. Y'all got a big old head, so. I'm just trying to get her on right. Oh, you know why it's different? Cause I'm not used to having lace all the way around. So I'm like, I think something ain't right, but it's right though. Hey y'all. <laughs> Yeah, I braided it myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this is giving. This is how I need my nose to look. Flat, laid, parts on needs. Hi, hey y'all. <laughs> all right, so we are gonna lay this down and then I have my baby hairs. Let me see. Y'all, y'all, all right, we are gonna lay this down. So to lay my unit down, I'm sorry, y'all had to take a pause on the story. I am going to, where my scissors? 
draping in here because where's my scissors? All right, so back to the story. So I've been dancing, right? It's my birthday. I've been dancing. Friends are showing up, giving me drinks. I'm hella lit. I've been dancing now for maybe 30, 45 minutes, just throwing it back on anybody, whoever, whoever wanted it at the time. I was tossing them up, throwing it back. And I'm tired, right? So the DJ had two speakers. They were probably like a little bit taller than me. They went from the floor up and I'm leaning on a speaker, right? Now for me, when it's my birthday, I don't care where I'm at, what I'm doing. I'm Beyonce. You ain't finna tell me nothing. You ain't finna tell me I ain't the one, I ain't the two, I ain't the three. Like, it's my birthday. I'm pretty sure everybody feels like that. It's my birthday, I can do what I want, I can have fun, it's my birthday. So yeah, my feet hurting, I'm tired, all that. And I decide to lean up against the DJ speaker, right? Like, y'all, mind you, I'm in heels, I'm just hella dancing, like, I'm not really doing nothing wrong. Okay, maybe I'm not supposed to be leaning up against the speaker, but like, it's my birthday, like, and I shouldn't have to tell you that. You should have been able to tell by the outfit, by the way. Look, walk with a walk. Look like an IG model. Body sack, what is it? Look like an IG model. Walk with a walk. Body shape like a Coke bottle. Look, I don't even know the words. But yeah, I shouldn't have to tell you that. It's my birthday. You see everybody walking in talking about, hey, hey, hey to me. It's my birthday. Like what? What happens, right, is the DJ stops the music. Mind you, I'm on a whole side of the dance club. Like, it's not hella big, but it's like a whole dance area, a seating area, and a whole bar. The DJ stops the music, and he said, get the get off my speaker. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's where you fucked up. What you're not going to do is try to embarrass me in front of the whole club on my birthday. So now I got an attitude. I'm like, yeah, no. Because you thought you ate? Give me that plate. I already knew from there, like my Aries energy. I'm like, first of all, it's Aries season. Second of all, it's my birthday. Third of all, like, was it necessary for you to shut off the whole music? And it was the way that he said it. Like, I didn't like the tone. Like, you was trying to embarrass me. Like, yeah, it wasn't given what you thought it gave. It wasn't. So yeah, I know what, what y'all thinking. Panic, what did you do? Yes, I did that. I knocked the DJ right in this shit. Nah, no, I'm just playing, I didn't do that, but. What I did, what I did do, I walked my pretty sedity self over to the DJ booth and I proceeded to pretend like I was gonna swipe all of his stuff off of his little DJ booth stand, okay? And I know y'all like, what, bitch, you're crazy. Yeah, so I proceeded to go to the DJ booth. I took my hands and I was like, <clears throat> And I basically started acting like I was gonna swipe all his stuff off the DJ counter. Cause it's like, you wanna embarrass me? I'll shut this whole club, I'll shut this whole operation down. And I'm pretty sure to be honest, I can't remember that vividly, but I'm pretty sure as I was doing that, I was like talking mess. Like I'll swipe everything off this table right now. Like I was going in because yeah, that really pissed me off. Like don't try to embarrass me. Yeah, two can play that game, right? So boom, he sees me. I, I don't know if he's like talking shit back or whatever, but I was saying stuff along the lines of like weak ass DJ, because honestly, when you go to Zanzibar, <laughs> the DJ plays like the same song or songs in the same rotation. Like, I swear, I felt like he had a, a playlist that he just hit play on and then stood up there and like moved his fingers like he was doing something like, bruh, the same songs would come on in the same order when they would do like their little Bay Area segment. Cause you know, Hawaii hella fucks with the Bay Area. They would play the same four songs, tell me when to go, blow the whistle, like, it's 2008, bro. We have so many more songs, like, do your research. We're tired of this. Like, you do this to us every single Friday and Saturday. We're tired of this. Um, so, basically, the DJ was trash. He was booty. He was garbage. It wasn't like he was dropping new hot singles, new, the new, new music, none of that. Now, I know what some of y'all thinking, well, why did you constantly go there? Like, we didn't really have a choice. It was either Zanzibar or Playbar across the street, and that was pretty much it. The DJ, he didn't like that very much. I actually don't think he appreciated it at all, so he proceeded to call security. Now, me, like, once I heard him call security, I'm like, oh, yeah, bitch, you got to get invisible. Get ghosts immediately. 
So this was actually the dumbest, <laughs> the dumbest thing that I did. Okay, think of it like this. This is the DJ booth right here, right? Where the mirror is. And then right here is like some booths where you could sit down. I don't think you had to, uh, I don't think you had to pay to sit at the booths, but like they're literally right next to the DJ stand. So when he started calling security, he asked for security on the mic. He was like, I need security. I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta get Casper on these hoes. I went to those booths and I sat down. I sat down, I had a couple friends over there. I was like, hey, let me like, you know, sit down behind you. Let me sit down real quick. So they can't find me. That was done. They found me, mm -hmm. they found me. Security found me. It was two guy bouncers and a female bouncer, right? So security walks over, right? The bouncers of the club and my friend, shout out to Jay Bone, was trying to talk to them. He was like, look, bruh, it's her birthday. She hella lit, she turned up, like she cool, she gonna be all right. But they was like, nah, bruh, she gotta go. She gotta go or whatever. Which honestly, at this point, I'm like hella turned up and I'm like, I'll leave this weak ass club at this point. Like, it's good. You don't have to say, say less, say less. Because number one, like I said, we barely like Zanzibar. Number two, I'm like, it's my birthday. You're not finna do that. You're not finna do that to me, okay? Mind you, I didn't even set the scene for y'all. I think I had on a black dress. And at the time, y'all, I used to wear, <laughs> y'all remember when Invisible Parts was in and used to like glue your Invisible Part down the middle? So I had a sew in. I used to buy those like, <sighs> okay, I used to buy those packs of bundles that come in like three different lengths or whatever. And I used to like cut the shortest one and make it into like a, a Invisible Part. So I had the middle of my part glued on I had a sewing in the back, okay? Pause, I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm about to come back and tell y'all the rest of this story. All right, y'all, we back. I had to throw a little bit of makeup on, you feel me? Had to put the nose ring in because it's getting me 90s. Um, and let's see if this wig is laid down in baby. It's laid and it's giving. I, I might be a wigologist, because baby, the way I've been laying these wigs down lately, it's been giving. All right, so where were we with this story? So security comes, it's two guys and a girl bouncer. And at first I was like hella irritated because I'm like, damn, I'm getting kicked off the club on my birthday. Um, I was super irritated about that. But at this point, I'm just like, you know what? It's good. Like this club is weak anyway. Like didn't want to be here, blah, 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 whatever. Now at the time I lived with um, two white girls and a Mexican, right? So I was with my white roommate and she, like none of my friends really wanted to leave the club. They're like, you know, we all just pulled up. So at that point I was like, all right, I'm just gonna call it a night and go home. And so I was like, my, my roommate was like, oh, I'll go with her, I'll go with her or whatever. So we're leaving out the top of the, the club. Now, as we're walking, the female bouncer is like nudging me, right? Now I wasn't like the type, I was like, I ain't leaving, I ain't leaving. Like I'm freely walking out the club. So it's like, you're pushing me for what? Why? Like, as I'm walking, it's like this, like, right? Mind you, at this time, while I'm leaving the club, like, yeah, I'm finna go out with a bang. So yeah, I'm talking mess. I'm like, this club is weak. That DJ plays the same songs over and over and over. You know, Hawaii is hella small and close-knit, so I don't know, maybe the DJ is their cousins. Maybe that's why they feel a certain type of way. But I'm like, yeah, this club is not giving. And I'm not mad that I'm leaving. Deep down inside, I'm mad as hell because like it's my birthday and like clearly I wanted to be here with my friends on this day. Did I glue this down? We might have to put an edge over that. Okay, so we're gonna take the baby hairs out. They're braided all the way around the back. So I gotta find them. So in my head, I'm getting kind of irritated because I'm like, why does she keep pushing me, right? And also I was already just irritated because I feel like club don't just be doing too much. Like just take me out the club. Don't try to make a scene like you Rambo and all of this and that. And just because I'm small, I don't think you're just gonna be nudging me out the club, baby, because these hands is ready to eat for everybody, right? So in my head, because I'm lit at this point, I'm telling myself, and this is honestly the four loco and the Patron getting to me and whatever else I was drinking that night, because I was drinking over the course of the night. Um, I'm telling myself in my head, like, yeah, you got three more times to nudge me and I'm finna take off. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. I feel like it's because I was just, it was liquid courage. It really had to be because honestly, it was two big ass guys walking and then she was walking behind me. So I don't know what I thought I was gonna do anyway, but I knew I was not going out like that. I was like, I'm a, if I'm gonna go out, I'm going out with a bang. 
Y'all, these edges long, so I'm gonna have to cut them. But the more edges I take out, the more I'm kind of starting to like this because I can do some really cute and like soft edges with this and it's about to give and I just really can't wait for that. Ooh, I'm feeling this, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really feeling this. Shit, this might be a look right here. Drop our hearts if you rock this, right here, just like this. This is some Vogue magazine. So boom, she nudging me, right? Nudge me one time. I say, yeah, you got two more times. This is what I'm thinking in my head because you can't never let them know what your next move is. This is what I'm thinking in my head. She nudges me twice. I say, yeah, you got one more time. She nudges me a third time, y'all. I turn around and I fucking punch her and she's knocked the fuck out. Just kidding, I missed. I turn around and tried to hit her with a wombo combo. Missed. I went just like this. Hit air. Nothing but air. So as I turn around and attempt to punch, she grabs me by the top of my weave, but mind y'all, like I told y'all, it was glued on, so it came off. I said, aha, yeah, now, cause you thought she was doing something. Now, at that moment when she grabbed it, I hit her one good time. I think she swung at me. I, honestly, I can't remember if she really hit me back because honestly it happened so fast and the, the guy security guards pulled us apart and like shoved me into the elevator because it was an elevator to go downstairs. Um, and my friend, my roommate, she was white. She was like, what are you sewing? I can't believe she put her hands on her. She was screaming. I said, yeah, we. I mean, you always need a white friend in a situation like this because yeah, baby, what she said, we're suing. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I had to walk home on my birthday my whole top of my invisible part was missing, y'all. It was so ghetto. I was crying, I was in distress, I was irritated. I instantly called my daddy because my dad had money. So like, I just, that was always my flex. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. And then my sister at the time was studying to be a lawyer. I don't even know if she was a lawyer at that point, but that was also my biggest flex. Yeah, because my sister's a lawyer. Can't even practice in Hawaii. because She was a, I think she was a public defender in Texas. And so I call my dad up, I'm telling him what happened. I'm like, yeah, I'm suing. I'm suing or I'm going back and I'm blowing the club up. And the only thing he said, he was like, are you drunk? I'm just like, duh. Like, it's my birthday, I don't care. <laughs> Y'all, I was so mad because it's just like, yeah, but like, so what though? I'm telling you what happened though. I was so irritated and I was even more irritated because y'all I'm like I'm gonna have to come back to this club and this girl bouncer is here every single time so the annoying thing is just like I went back to the club the next weekend and I'm like fuck is this bitch gonna remember me I don't even know if I went back that very next weekend or if um I waited but Hawaii is so small that I'm just like there's no way that I could never return back to this club and I was like damn I really don't want to have to fight this club bouncer sober because she was big she was probably either Tongan or Samoan, one of the two. And I was 125 pounds, like y'all, I was a small hot girl. Like I was not trying to fight her, especially sober. So yeah, the next time I went back to the club, the whole time I was just like, God damn. So in order to get to like that side of the club, you had to uh, show an ID. Now I'm having all these baby hairs, it's kind of cute though. You have to show your ID to get to that side of the club and I have to show her my ID. And she didn't say nothing, so I said, okay, we good. You understand that I whipped your ass and it is what it, no, I'm just kidding. I didn't even win y'all, but that's my story. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of hot, ratchet, hot girl nights at Zanzibar. I was actually hearing that it closed down. I was like, oh, what? But I heard they was doing crazy stuff up in there. You know, Hawaii, they be thinking they just could get away with, do whatever they want to do. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out these edges. I think they're kind of too long, but I'm like nervous because I also don't want to cut them too, too short. But I'm not going to cap. This wig is giving. It's giving what it was supposed to have gave. It looks super real. I didn't have to do any type of maintenance to it. No, nothing. I feel like I can keep it with the bang and it's still going to be a hit. But I'm going to trim these down just a little bit. I have like these super cute scrunchies. Let me show y'all. These are definitely giving 90s vibes. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some of those in with it. I've already expressed like when I'm doing wigs, I'm really not good at like the ear tab part. So don't think that it's the unit at all. It's definitely me. <laughs> um, I've been trying to get better, but honestly, it's just not my thing. 
Y'all, as I'm curling this unit, I was hella just thinking in my head. I was like, dang, I don't want to give myself heat damage. Look, now me thinking that this is really me. Because, girl, what? Heat damage on a wig. I guess you can give a wig heat damage if it's curly, huh? But now me have a hair in my mouth. But yeah, I absolutely love this wig. And the best part about it is that it's black owned, baby. So if you love to support your own people, as you should, make sure you step for your own people, y'all. That's important. Um, I would 10 out of 10 recommend y'all. I'm gonna keep this on. Usually when I do wigs, I like do the wig for the video and I pull it right off. But this, yeah, I'm rocking, I'm rocking little baby for the day. Let me figure out these baby hairs, y'all. These are giving me a run for my money. Okay, let me figure out these baby hairs and I'll get back to y'all. Honestly, no, I'm finna let y'all see me do these because it wouldn't be right if I cut y'all off. This part is important because y'all need to know how to do this. I just feel like they're getting shorter and shorter. Uh-oh, my nephew just woke up, y'all. Okay, now the baby hairs are looking like something. I think I just had them a little too long. And to be honest, I honestly think I'm gonna just put a little bit of hairspray because whenever I do edge control on it, I feel like the oil from the edge control messes with um, messes with the lace. So yeah, I'm actually really feeling that. All right, we're just gonna hairspray it just a little bit. I'm actually feeling that. It's kind of like a soft look. I like that. I said I was gonna hairspray it, but I don't even have no hairspray here. So we're just gonna cut around my ear because there's still lace. Remember I told y'all the lace goes all the way around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that off. They even gave you baby hairs in the back, but honestly, I don't know how to lay a wig all the way around. So I'm not going to. So I'm probably not gonna pull this like all the way up. Yeah, I'm just cutting the lace off. I'm gonna curl these little baby hairs. It's like my sideburns right here. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. I'm gonna do the same on this side. Cut the part over my ear. Yes, it's giving. We're gonna take it a step further because I do want to make it like a little bit of a 90s look. I gotta see if I got some hairspray, hang on. Yes, y'all, I found some Tresemme in my stash. It's gonna have to work. I just kind of want to like set the edges in place because I feel like they're not gonna stay. Like I want them to stay if I don't put nothing on them. I'm gonna rock with probably the white scrunchie. These are the different colors. I actually think I got this from Claire's. Oh no, I got these from Ross. I got it, Ross. They were only $2.99 and they're super cute. I'm gonna lift up half of this unit. I feel like I want some of this down. Y'all, look at how neat these parts are. Like, I'm not fucking playing. Okay, I feel like I wanna do like a side do up. I don't know y'all can't see, but they go like to my butt. Mm -mm, my head looks big like this. Okay, I, I need to play around with this. All right, y'all, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm gonna give you guys a couple seconds of my finished look at the end. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if there's another story time or if you like this video that you guys wanna see. Let me know in the comment section down below. And until then, don't nudge me or I'm gonna pull up, period. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without. Girl, I'm lost without you. I swear I'm lost without you. All I think about is. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without. Big Panda tutorials, lives, reviews, yeah, all that. Big panda, not the little one. Hey. What you mean? Big box braids on your top, yeah, add it up. Gang finna hit a milli, yeah, add it up. Panna, 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 can you post a bit? I've been really booked and busy, but I got you, sis. Big subs, box braids, and they tug. Dropping gems, tell your friends, yeah, let's run it up. Big, Big likes, drop a comment, or we finna fight. Cause why wouldn't you like, comment, and subscribe to my videos? Like, that's weird.